I've just been having a quick walk around site and I think it was well worth it because I found something that's going to be quite useful. I'll just walk back down and show you what it is. Just over this area, I spotted those. Got loads of blackberries growing and they're only a couple of vans away from where we are. So that's brilliant. We've got all these weeds out at way. And we can start an harvest to sell some of those. It's also quite a big bush as well. You can see there's loads more there as well. So I'm going to pop back, get my tub, and we'll get some of those now. Because it looks like there's quite a lot more to come. Well, that was definitely worth the wonder. We've got a nice tub of blackberries there. It's quite a lot there for one picking. There's also loads more, but they're still red. So we'll give that a few days and we'll go back and we'll fill another tub. There's also some quite high up, but because I've got access to that shed, there's plenty of tools in there for me to be able to pull branches down and get the berries. So we can now start popping them in freezer bags and freezing a good batch of those as we go over the next few weeks. Every little bit helps as this say. So quick wash into a freezer bag and we've got us fruit started. And it's about time. So August is definitely time to start foraging for berries. We've got quite a lot in that little area, just two vans away from where we are. But this is quite a big area. And I'm sure if we take a walk around, we're going to find a lot more. So we'll look all the way around this site over the next couple of days. We want to get there before those birds do. And we'll probably go a little bit far beyond as well. So if you want free berries to put in bags and pop in your freezer, and you're not too far away from a woodland, it's definitely worth a look. But apart from that, we have had some more developments in that garden. And I've also done a couple of extra things in between everything else. I'll show you what they are. This is one of the other things that I noticed today. I've got some peppers in these containers and they're starting to ripen, which is great news. We've also got some more tomatoes starting to ripen as well. And we've got a few on this plant as well. And these are cherry tomatoes. I thought they were large ones, but it's called sugar gloss. So we're definitely getting something off those. And we've got another pepper there, and that has also started to ripen. We've also got some good size on these cucumbers. They're lemon apple, but they're now starting to grow quite quickly. And so is that celery. Still needs a little longer though. We've also got loads and loads of flowers on those runner beans now. And they've climbed right to the top those poles and this one has started to throw itself around lampposts so I'll just leave that to carry on but we're definitely going to get some beans from those plants and lots more blueberries so a bit of sun does make all the difference this is that tomato plant that we really pruned back but look how big tomatoes are getting now we've got lots of them really good sizes so they'll soon start ripening. And there is pickling onions. They're also well and truly, aren't we? There's quite a lot in there, to be fair. Lettuce has gone crazy in that little container. So has that one. And this really nice red one. But this is another job that I've been doing. Moving those potato plants out of those two litre containers and putting them into a slightly bigger one. And they're the potatoes that we harvested and then I replanted a couple. Those plants are also doing really well. And so is onions. And you can see that the tops are now starting to fall over. So these are gonna swell a bit more and then they'll turn a bit brown and we can harvest them. But that's not bad for a little container. And that's another container of potatoes that we've done. Really healthy looking plants and another one and I've still got a couple more that I want to move on as well but I'm going to put these in smaller containers and I think they're ready to go we'll see how they do 
in some are a bit smaller and that's as multi sown onions and you can see we're now getting a tint of brown so all those onions in a little container growing together and they'll soon be ready for harvest because once again those tops have gone over and I think we're ready for another picking of French beans as well so I'll get in there at some point today and have a look what we get that's one to start us off so although it has been quite a slow start to the season everything is now really starting to grow and more importantly ripen Just one bean for now, but I did notice there's lots more ready to pick. So while we're foraging, getting things like this for free that we didn't even plant and filling up as bags and popping them in the freezer. We're now starting to see some results in that garden. We've got some really nice round cucumbers. We've got tomatoes that are ripening, blueberries that are ripening, salads that are like this big. And that's to name a few things. Everything is looking really well now, thanks to this week or so of sunshine. And it's not quite gone yet, so there'll definitely be quite a few more things that are going to ripen over the next few days. And meanwhile, we've planted on those potato plants from two litres into slightly bigger ones. And last time we did that, we were getting some really good harvests. And if you want to do that yourself, you're better off using something like Rocket or Charlotte, a first or a second early because it'll only take 17 weeks to reach harvest time. So depending on what month you decide to plant any, you could have some in just a few weeks, or you could plant them later and get some ready for Christmas. I think we're gonna do a bit of both on that. But it is really good to see that everything is now starting to pick up. It's been a very slow year for everybody, but now you're gonna start and see some results. And one other thing that I'm gonna be doing tomorrow is pulling those carrots in that container behind me. We've already harvested one batch and we froze a really big bag of them. And I were gonna just take a few out, but I took the entire lot. But if you're gonna freeze them, then that's fine. So tomorrow, even though I might say I'm gonna take up a few, I'm probably gonna pull a lot up. And they've been in a little bit longer than previous ones. And I'm pretty sure that they are the Chantenay Royals. So if you want to see how many carrots we get from the second harvest this season, then I'll see you on that update tomorrow. If you want to see what else happens over the next few weeks, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy your weekend.